Developing tonight, a 16-year-old accused of shooting multiple people at Cabana Live near Samford will be prosecuted as an adult. That means he could face much harsher consequences. And today we learned the official paperwork has been filed and the teen is now at the jail in Seminole County. News 6 reporter Catherine Silver was in court this afternoon. Christopher Bowie appeared in front of a judge on a video call Tuesday. The 16 year old faces five counts of attempted murder and one count of possession of a firearm by a minor after a shooting at an event venue at Sanford's port. Security cameras captured the moment it happened. First, a fight broke out and then detectives say Bowie, who was uninvolved in the initial brawl, opened fire. Watch again, this time as we point it out to you. The sheriff's office says this is Bowie. Ten people were hurt before he was tackled by security officers, including Houston Texans wide receiver Tank Dell. An investigation into a second shooter is ongoing. That unknown person could absolutely be justified uh, under Florida's self-defense laws to, to pull out a gun and return fire. Sheriff Dennis Lima said Cabana Live did not have the proper permit in place to host the party called Nobody Leaves Sober. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Tuesday, county commissioners put new rules into place for all special events. What we've never had is a security aspect. Chairman Jay Zembauer. Before this group of commissioners got here, we always felt well, of course, people would be doing security, and of course, people would make sure people are safe at their establishment. This gives us the ability to make sure that's happening. Venues may have to submit security plans, whether there will be searches, metal detectors, and ID checks, and the operator will have to pay for it. And it will be in, in guidance with the sheriff of this county. So the sheriff will know what's going on. Anyone who doesn't follow the proper protocol could face fines. It's unfortunate these things happen. And, and we, as we go along in time, there's things we could do 20 and 30 years ago, arguably, you just can't take for granted today. We have reached out to the owners of Cabana Live before to get their perspective on what happened, and they have declined to comment. As for Bowie, his attorney says he has no previous criminal history and he should be granted a bond. A judge decided for now he will stay in custody. In Seminole County, Catherine Silver, Getting Results, News 6.